my name is David Glorium. Um, I work at this department of drug design and pharmacology at the University of Copenhagen as an uh, associate professor and group leader. I also happen to be the head of a uh, research database within my field of research. In my work, we do interdisciplinary projects uh, relating about identifying drugs or drug-like substances. Of course, I'm interested in publishing open access because that means that more researchers will be able to read my uh, articles and that will also generate more citations, which is a very important merit for me. My interest in, in open access is, of course, to make my research uh, available to as many other researchers as possible. But this is also encouraged more and more by foundations. Um, many of the EU grants require open access and also I think the National Danish um, funding uh, will uh, encourage open access strongly. Yes, I think uh, that both Denmark as well as uh, the University of Copenhagen where I work would benefit a lot from publishing open access because that would uh, generate a lot more visibility and traction to, to our articles and that would promote the Denmark and the university in the international competition. Uh, I see a lot of value in this, of course, because uh, as a researcher we are uh, mainly funded by taxpayers' money and um, the society should know that they get something back from their investment. I think open access benefits everyone, but I think it's extra important for junior researchers. I think the, the obvious challenge is um, that of the cost. So uh, many more researchers want to publish open access, but they cannot afford it. So there can be so many different solutions to this, either the university will pay or someone on the national level that want to promote their uh, institution. Uh, alternatively, foundations should continue uh, the trend of, of requiring open access and also supply the money to, to publish open access. And I think there's a lot to gain for the foundations to make the results from the projects more available. For me, publishing in open access and also using social media more, um, it's been a bad consciousness for me and the group for a number of years. It's a, one of the things that I know uh, it's very important to do, but we haven't found the time. Now I think we can't afford not taking the time. Thank you.